There's no sound. <laughs> Oh, hi. How you doing, Internet? I'm Kevin Martin. This is... Miguel from Gamers Little Playground. Uh, Kenny Saracino. Vince Valenti. And this is You Against the Ghost. Thank you for sticking around with us. Let me move this a little bit closer to myself. There we go. So we got some great guests who are just... Well, they're on the stage. This is new for us. We usually uh, have a little, little segment to ourselves, and then we bring you in, but we just wanted to get you guys on stage and uh, show your pretty faces mm -hmm. to the world. Thanks for having us. <laughs> of course, of course. How are you guys doing today? Great, great. Cool, cool. All right, so normally, like I said, there's like a little news section here, but we're going to jump straight to you guys, and then we're going to move to our little news section, which is going to be more conversational. Um, but first, we ask a few questions, and there's two of you, so whomever wants to jump at it first, but we want both of your answers because <laughs> you guys aren't one person. You guys aren't a collective yeah. unit. So, <laughs> um, so first question that we start off with usually is, what is your favorite TV show? You want to take it away? I'll, I guess I'll take it away. So it has to be Game of Thrones, right? And Game of Thrones? Yeah, I, I hope that doesn't come off as a cop-out. but That's it's, a it's no. cliche <laughs> answer. <laughs> it is cliche. I don't accept the answer. <laughs> I need another one. It is, exactly. but... I can't be mad at it because this is a great show. Yeah, so. exactly. <laughs> I, this is like what, like the fourth person to say <laughs> to say Game of Thrones, third person to say Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, we've only had four, well, five guests. We, and we had a Breaking today. Bad too. We had a Breaking yeah. Bad. Yeah, uh, that's probably number two or number three, right? Yeah, yeah. Or with Mad Men or. Uh, there's a lot of good TV content now. Mad Men. All right, that's new. I haven't heard Mad anybody Man. say Mad Men. Yeah, if you, will you accept that? We can do Mad, Mad Men. Men? <laughs> I yeah. want the truth. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for the wire. I'm waiting for somebody to say the wire. <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen. Well, I was about to be the fifth person. I was going to say the game. <laughs> <laughs> but, don't let um, me sway you. Just <laughs> uh, it's fine. Uh, let's see. Broad City, mostly because I'm in the comedy world, and I feel like that is um, a really big inspiration to me. I love those ladies. You know. Girl power. Sweet. Yeah. All right. Hold on. So we've had a lot of people say Game of Thrones before. So I want to know why you two specifically like Game of Thrones. Like, what is it about Game of Thrones that draws you in? Obviously, there's like the flash of it, you know, and it's like HBO. So it's like sexy and stuff. But like, what really draws you into the show? It's just like the weird masochistic, like everything goes wrong. And you just want to want more of that. It's like, no, but at the same time. I don't know. It's like this weird relationship between something going wrong, but you love it, and you want to know um, what happens with these characters because you become so like highly invested in each and every single one. You know, I'm, that's I'm a, a Khaleesi that's a great fan. Point. Yeah, oh, yeah. Thanks. I would um, say the same thing. And actually, I was gonna say it's the it's kind of the opposite of the flashiness for me. It's like it's the modern brilliant soap opera, right? Of a bunch of characters. It's like a brilliant character study. The writing's excellent, mm -hmm. and like the flashiness of the dragons. That's all kind of like sidebar to just being you know, invested in the characters and following the storyline and then ultimately being disappointed when, you know, the inevitable happens. Yeah, when people die. Yeah, mm -hmm. when people die. Yeah. <laughs> Though, I, I don't know, again, you're not watching this season, right? No? And you, no. I'm sure you guys are caught up. You guys saw the last episode up, and yeah. such. Yes. And it's like, it's a spectacle still. Like, even though it's great writing and it's the character development is probably some of the best on television, I think. But it still has great CGI. Like, the dragons look amazing. The, like, the the massive scope of like these thousands of people like in one shot is amazing I think but yeah I don't yeah. know I'm just I'm like a sucker for that stuff especially if it looks good cuz like CGI to this day I don't I've never been fooled by CGI mm -hmm. you know it yeah. still hasn't happened but that's still it's still good CGI Jurassic Park so actually the best. oh my god <laughs> Jurassic Park yes. to this like, day yes. is yes. still <laughs> no argument here oh my god yeah <laughs> That's 20, 20 good, years ago, 20 plus years ago. I know, ago, and it still it. holds up. It's yeah, amazing. Exactly. <laughs> I remember watching Jurassic Park, um, uh, what was it, maybe like four or five years ago when they re-released it in 3D, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I saw it in the IMAX uh, over in Universal Studios, and like I cried. Like, yeah, <laughs> I mean, not like... Not like, like, no, I get no, no. <laughs> Not like, <laughs> but I was like, oh my God, like it was my childhood, you know? I was like, yeah. oh man. Aww. It was probably tear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the it's Denzel, okay. the safe, really rude space. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would, no, God, it was beautiful. Honestly, I've cried at stuff like that, but just because, like, the, the power of the, of, like, the cinema, you yeah. know, it's just like, wow, I can't believe they, they accomplished that. Yeah, thing. we had this, uh, w this talk um, in, in Behind Closed Doors. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, we talked about Rogue One 
uh-huh. and just watching that. And like I got teary eyed watching Rogue One. Yeah. And it's not like you're rewatching an old movie. I was watching the movie for the first time. Yeah. But it made that like nostalgic feeling of like the old Star Wars films. Like yeah. it, it made it, it, it did it better than the prequels or even the new sequels did it, I think. And yeah. it was just, there was something so beautiful about I, that. I just legitimately, legitimately cried in the Vader scene. Just yeah. Because like it was just, not that it was a sad moment, but it was just like, man, they finally. They, they, they captured, got yeah, they, they got, got it, it. Exactly. they got it. You know? yes, we saw a strength. I yeah. like how they connected the two movies, too. Yeah, yeah. me too. How do you guys feel about that? Mm-hmm. Like that? Oh, dude, we, we yeah. loved it. We were surprised that, we, I thought it was going to be universal acclaim, and there was a lot of people who didn't like it, so. Yeah, I don't which know. is weird. Yeah. It's like up there. Like, you had to, you had said, um, if, 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 just because it's too new, it can't be the best. Yeah. But it's probably the best. Probably the is Star the Wars. best. Because yeah. it's hard to say, it, like, it really is, it's hard to say that it's better than Empire. But I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what you feel yeah. is like the best Star Wars film. I, I don't mean to put any I like love words the movie. in. And actually, I think my nostalgia derived from it feeling like um, like a Star Wars video game. Mm-hmm. And I was okay with that. Mm-hmm. I thought that was really good. It reminded me of like Jedi Outcast that I used to play mm-hmm. when I was in high school. And that, for me, made the movie. So I was okay with that tone. Very similar yeah. to, a, to a video game. Yeah, I agree. Definitely. Like a quest. Like you're a quest. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It was the biggest, it was like the most expensive like fixing of a plot hole in a movie, <laughs> in movie history, <laughs> that movie ever, <laughs> ever. <laughs> okay, well that's a good segue. You talked about video games. What's your favorite video game of all time? Uh, of all time? Yeah. Well, like I mean, I, I guess it's hard to say of all time. Anytime somebody puts that, there's like a lot of pressure on people. Right. Well, they yeah. keep but changing over time. Yeah. But yeah. I, I, like but classically, um, Zelda: Ocarina of Time. Like hands down, has to be the whole time. Yeah. time. I wore my Zelda shirt. So yes. Really there nice. we go. There we go. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's that's probably my all. Is that Twilight favorite. Bird? I don't know. No, this is uh, the new one. Oh, okay. No, no, never mind. This Just is Twilight one. Princess. I thought I was wearing the other one. I have several. <laughs> <laughs> I have zero, several Zelda shirts. Um, yeah. Hmm. I'd have to say a classic one. I do like Zelda. I do. Um, Spyro? Anybody? All oh, right. Wow. Okay. Oh, my God. The Gun most Uncle. original answer. Yeah, that was ever great. <laughs> I like that. That was good. All right. Okay. Well, maybe not classically though. Let's uh, see. Well, like, what maybe more recent video games? Is there anything well, there? To be perfectly honest, I haven't gamed in a while. Do you guys have any recommendations? Get out. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I don't know. That's difficult. It depends on what kind of a like gamer you are. Like mm-hmm. I. I'm very story driven, so I like a lot of like the Telltale games, um, like Fable or the Walking Dead series. Or I haven't met anybody yeah. who doesn't like The Last of Us. Just from The Last of Us because of the is story, because okay. it's phenomenal. Yeah. Like, yeah, you'll cry within the first ten minutes if you're that type of person. I don't know. We're both very emotional. Yeah, there's a lot of crying, yeah. there's yeah. A lot of crying here. <laughs> no, I haven't met but. anybody who hasn't cried. And the, honestly, I swear to God, oh, okay, like, every go. playthrough I've seen, like they cry in the first 15 minutes. It's one of the best openings to any video game. Yeah, yeah it really we can is. All agree on yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Last of Us is really good. So try, try that. Out. Okay, I'll try that out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I mean, I don't know. What, what kind of video games do you do you enjoy? I mean, I guess again, Spyro. Spyro, <laughs> Luigi's Mansion. Uh, okay, let's you see. might. I, I mean, it's not really a new game, I but I feel like you either. might enjoy playing the new Crash Bandicoot, which is not new. It's the old one, but it's like revamped. So yeah. honestly, I used to play a lot of Crash. So, so there, there you go. go. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> what about yourself? Maybe recently. like a more recent, yeah, video. Uh, game. I've been playing a lot of uh, Battlefront. Surprisingly, I'm looking forward to the new one too. I'm about to get into Overwatch. I think that's going to be my next. That's one game that I haven't gotten into that Don't everybody has said. No, that you should It'll consume your life. <laughs> I'm glad we're doing this podcast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you never want to see other people. I mean, if you just want to play Overwatch all day, that's fine. You could do that. <laughs> you know. What about you, Mike? Like, what's the last video game that you're like good video game that you've been playing? I don't know. I'm I'm, be, I'm stuck on Call of Duty to be honest, but I just play everything. I mean, that's my life. It's my livelihood. So yeah. I just play games exactly. all the time. Yeah. So it's hard for me to say. But the only thing I like playing a lot is Call of Duty because I play with my with my friends. So just a social thing. Oh, it's yeah. friends. Yeah. The only re- the only connection we have left in <laughs> modern society is <laughs> X- Xbox Live. It's basically <laughs> you. Yeah. It's basically yeah. you yelling into a microphone yeah. like you just got owned. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're not even in the same rooms anymore. Yeah. 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 Places. yeah. Um. I don't know. Just because I feel like I should probably answer the question. I don't know what. Uh, for me, there's two games that I've been playing a lot recently. Which one is Injustice? Because the loot system in that is just. Uh, 
like Injustice Two is so addicting. Yeah, and and like I'm a huge DC fan um, in general. So to be able to kind of craft your own like Batman suit, it was like j- enough to sell me on the yeah. game, you know. And then the fact that it's like a fighting game and kind of in the same realm as like Mortal Kombat and stuff was amazing. So it had me sold. But I've also been playing, and a lot of people give it a lot of flack. Um, is Titanfall Two. Um, oh, it's good. Yeah, definitely. I really enjoy that game. It's a lot of fun. Like, and I'm terrible at FPS games, but like, I'm pretty decent at that game. Like, and, de- and I mean decent, like on the lower end of decent. But yeah. it's like I feel good at that game, you know, which yeah. says a lot. <laughs> That's all that matters. He's, he's, he's trash. I'm right? trash. He's, I'm, to- I'm totally he's, trash. Just so you know, he's trash. Yeah, I'll be like, <laughs> I'll get like twenty, like twenty kills, and then like nineteen deaths or something. And I'm like on top of the world. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> All right, and then the last question, because picking your favorite movie is always the hardest thing, but what's the last greatest film that you've seen? Um, the most recent one. Probably Dunkirk. Dunkirk? Yeah, probably Dunkirk, yeah. I saw that with my roommate and colleague. Uh, God, I wish ago. you were here when we had the yeah, discussion. Yeah, I know. We had that discussion We had such earlier. a big discussion. Which we'll, I mean, we could still dive into it just because yeah. I want to know what your like thoughts are. Like, what yeah. did you, what, what about it was like... Uh, drawing simply the uh, the cinematic experience. No one reminds us why why the theater is still relevant. Why we should still go and share that experience. Yeah. Um, incredible um, uh, filmmaking craft. Uh, the visuals. You know, um, there's no CG right when he's on the w- when he's uh, doing the aerial photography. So it feels yeah. very real right there. You know, the human eye is very good about detecting that kind of stuff. And the way that he shot it and cut it together, I thought it was. Uh, Pretty, pretty incredible cinematic experience. Yeah. Something you don't see all the time, you, especially even with like a Michael Bay film or, you know, those uh, spectacles, you still don't, yeah. they don't feel like a Nolan film. Uh, Nolan yeah. Feels. He's definitely had this, he has this, um, I don't know, this r- weird thing that kind of makes Nolan Nolan is this feeling of like taking spectacle, mm-hmm. um, something that, you know, we see with like how you said, like Michael Bay, he's like all spectacle, like almost no story, right? Um but he also has this like weird way of pulling this like classic film feeling into his films that just make them feel like an instant classic the moment yeah. that you watch them. Exactly. So yeah, that's that's like a I would totally agree with with that definitely. How about yourself? It's the last great film that you saw. Uh, let's see. Um, well, I do agree that Dunkirk was amazing cinematically, um, and being that I came from a film background or do come from a film background, I agree with that. Um, but I actually really I'm gonna keep hitting this. <laughs> I actually really like Girls Trip. I don't know if you've heard anything no. about Girls Trip. No, it's I haven't. I actually no. I've heard that it's actually really good. I was really I was told good. that somebody was like pleasantly surprised by that. Exactly. Film, but I, I haven't. Say, pleasantly surprised. Like I get there and I was like, oh, it's gonna be one of those movies. But I'm just gonna be like, oh, okay, whatever. No, the entire time I was laughing. I mean, cinematically, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. yeah. But um, I was laughing film? the whole time. Who's uh, in Girls Trip? Tiffany Haddish. 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 Queen Latifah. Haddish. And there's uh, a couple other ladies. I don't remember their names. Uh, but Jada Pickett Smith, I think, is in the yes, film. Yes, and she's the cutest. And I don't know who else. I just remember the, those two: mm-hmm. Queen Latifah and Jada Pickett Smith. So. Set it off reunion. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's that's what I, that's initially what I yeah. thought. Honestly, I've never laughed so hard. So just like saying. ever. Like ever. Yeah. Like wow. I mean, definitely. You set the bar five. really high in this really film now. <laughs> I was I was crying. I was crying, guys. <laughs> You're so <laughs> emotional. I was so emotional. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. I was just thinking about this quick fun fact for the audience um, that the Dunkirk script was only about seventy pages, which is like kind that of seems, amazing. That seems yeah. long, really. For what it, for what you saw, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like yeah, no, I guess it was, it was in the script. I don't like. <laughs> like <laughs> that's you know. true. That's true. <laughs> you know? But like, I, I'm so used to you know, like, <laughs> like even when I've written scripts, which like, like I feel like the shortest thing that I've had written uh, is around a hundred and. Seven pages, so I thought that was short. I, I mean, was like, it, Man, is, it is short. I'm that just is. saying, like, it's what, what the hell? What, what did he <laughs> write in the script? He, like, yeah, that's it. true. <laughs> but he actually, uh, Chris wanted to shoot the film without a script. Period. He had talked about it, and what then his wife, who's also <laughs> his producer, <laughs> yeah, his wife, who's also his producer, was like, uh, like you're you're right. you're Christopher Nolan, but you're not like right. you're yeah. not there. <laughs> yeah. Also, logistics, guys, we got to break this down. Somehow. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. But I mean, I think that's like you know, it's kind of cool that he was like. And the funny thing is, somebody probably like at Warner Brothers or something, because that's like who he works with the most. Somebody at Warner Brothers would probably have been like, "All right, dude, like, yeah, go for it. Like, sure, <laughs> yeah. sure, man. We here's here's you. money. You can he make it happen. It. <laughs> yeah. He's earned that. He has. Yeah. Earned he has. That. He's he got. He point. can get that green light if he wants it. Honestly, mm-hmm. so. yeah. It it uh, besides uh, 
Peter Jackson. I think he's one of the only directors that have two major uh, film studios fight to like push his films out, which mm-hmm. was uh, Interstellar with uh, Paramount and Warner Brothers. Because the fil- he was going with Paramount, Warner Brothers was like, we need to get in on Christopher Nolan's yeah. stuff. Like, we'll do whatever it takes. And then they help, uh, you know, pay for budget and stuff. He's a fanboy, by the way. I am. I'm, I'm totally. I'm a huge. Like, Nolan I'm fanboy. okay with that. He's like yeah. a Nolan historian. And shit. I am. Yeah. <laughs> what was the name? Actually, of let me show you my book. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually been writing this book about Christopher Nolan. Like, Jesus. I wouldn't doubt that at some point in my life, I do like a foreword to like one of his books or something. You can like, be talking about anything, and like Nolan will come up. Yeah. And just like, yeah, man. Like he got hit by that car, dude. Like in the Nolan film. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, I'm a little embarrassed now. Yeah. Thank you for pointing that out. That's great. See the okay. in your face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So, first kind of topic, which again, it's, it's more of a discussion. We just wanted to talk about your guys's like your YouTube channels and like what you guys are doing and how you guys are maneuvering your way through this. Like, what is a, now an industry and it's a booming industry, mm-hmm. um, and how you guys are getting around and what you where you guys want to go. Like, what's your end goal? Um, some people like, you know, there's some people who start off with social media or like YouTube and stuff as a stepping stone to get to another like place Mm -hmm. and kind of where that's going for you guys. So I don't know, like where you guys want to jump in. Maybe we'll start. I just, well, let me just comment first because I I like there are two different dynamics because I know Wayside runs a lot more through like Kickstarter and, and kind of getting funded before more like a real, you know, production company. Whereas uh, Kimmy is kind of going the whole building your personality and building your brand and channel. So it's like both are different ways to approach it, but both very viable. And, and mm-hmm. you know, so I like that different dynamic. Uh, so it'd be great perspectives on both, you yeah. know. I think, um, well, I guess the, with my background, uh, uh, like a lot of YouTubers, it's kind of like a happy accident, right? Mm-hmm. Or you just kind of, you were doing something and then it just kind of snowballed from there. Mm-hmm. Um, so, um, my, the original group I was, I was involved with, we made a fan film that's based on fallout and, uh, did really well, which was, you know, kind of surprising. We just, we made it because there was a lot of passion surrounding the project, but then it took off and then we went and we crowdfunded some other, um, installments of it too. And so I just kind of found myself, um, directing these, um, you know, these episodes and then uh, eventually we did another one-off through Machinima, actually. Those guys, are, they've co-financed a lot of the uh, projects we've done. And that was a film, uh, Fallout Red Star. I don't know if you guys saw yeah. that one. It's really um, good. Thank you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's probably one that we're the most proud of. Um, just trying to capture like a, uh, you know, what, what Bethesda and Fallout have done so brilli- brilliantly of like this, this um, really good balance of like humor, but also a darkness too and, um, and a gravity to it. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't, I've, I've gone off now. Uh, but, <laughs> but yeah, like, you know, like most YouTubers, you kind of, you do something, you do something that you care about. And I think that's what resonates with your audience. They realize yeah. that it's real. It's sincere. It's a, like a passion. Like yeah, it, it, feel, right. Exactly. Feel, yeah. You can definitely feel when somebody does yeah. something with passion as opposed to somebody who's just doing something to exactly. Like, push it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. I think the audience recognizes that. So that's kind of, those were our roots. And we just kept, you know, finding ways to do it, to create the content and put it out. Um, how did Nuka Break first, like, how did you guys first come up with the idea, though? Like when um, So that was, um, that was one guy's idea to do a fan film, period. And he got together the crew and the cast and just went out to the desert and shot it, right, yeah. for, for just a few bucks. But then after that one um, exploded, that's when, you know, the fans were asking for more. And we realized, hey, let's get together. Let's get, a, um, you know, a bigger team together and let's go out and, and keep doing this. And then that allowed us to branch off and, and, and do other things. That's cool. Is like, okay, so you said happy accident. You guys did this again as like a passion project. And exactly. Um, has it gotten to a point for you guys where it's starting to feel like work or are you guys still happy? Is that, like, do you still feel that fiery passion? I mean, I'm sure you guys do to some extent, but does it at right. any point ever start to feel like, like work? You know, like even, you know, great directors, great actors and stuff, there's probably a day in the life where they're just like, you know, does, has it gotten to that point for you yet? Um, yeah, it's like, how do you define work, right? Like, yeah. I, I don't know. I love being in the trenches. I like it. Right, I like when yeah. we're trying to work out the logistics or even something creatively is going wrong on set and we have to fix it, right, real mm-hmm. time. You know, I kind of I kind of embrace that and love that. Um, but no, I think with, with how the fans have treated us, we've always gotten a really good response. That's what keeps you motivated, keeps you going. I've always... Um, 
uh, always appreciated that. So like that just adds to the, the natural drive, I think. Um, so like, I, I don't think it's ever really felt like work. You know, I, I love what I do. I love working with, with a team of talented people. I mean, for me, that's one of like the most amazing things about filmmaking is you're working with so many different kinds of artists Right, you you know you have painters, you have musicians, you have cinematographers, you have writers. Right, they're all kind of working together. Um, so yeah, it's never it's never felt like a drag. It's always 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 a journey. Right, always, that's great. Yeah, that's great. And I think that 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 shows in your work definitely. Speak. Yeah, like I think it's great. Yeah. How about right. yourself? How do you feel about like your journey and your start? Like, how did I guess the inception of the the project. <laughs> there you go. Boom. Christopher Nolan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Looking at yeah. um, honestly, I've always wanted to have my own channel. Mm -hmm. um, but it was one of those things where I was like, okay, I want to do this, but I didn't. I uh, got together with a very good friend of mine, and we sat there and we're like, just, let's just write. Let's just write our things. Um, started coming up with different ideas, workshopping the ideas, hating the ideas, just destroying mm. them, burning them, coming back. And that was honestly the hardest part, but what was more importantly, the best part was that we were able to show that passion and um, just kind of put it out there and, and make people laugh, you know? Yeah. And I think we've been doing a pretty good job about it. Um, and Awkward Cupcakes, by the way, is the name yeah. of the channel. Um, mm -hmm. The way we got that is we were just sitting there, you know, literally twirling our hair trying to figure out what it is and read an article about vegan cupcakes. I mean, we are in L.A., right? So yeah. Right. Like, oh, yep. that's kind of cute. Oh, Awkward Cupcakes. Don't hate it. <laughs> um, and then we just went from there. Everything's awkward. Everything is fun. Um, and kind of going back to Broad City being my favorite TV show other than Game of Thrones. Um, <laughs> it's just not being afraid to go there. You right. Know? Oh, don't talk about this. No, we're gonna talk about it. It's gonna be weird. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be <laughs> yeah. So it's been good, and I've been with Wayside for six years now. I, I was actually Eve in the latest mm -hmm. installment of Fallout, and uh, that was really really fun. So yeah, we just kind of pulled together our resources, and um, like you were saying, just trying to show our personalities and be bold with it, and not not be afra afraid, just be fearless. So. Yeah. It's been fun. That's good. <laughs> you got to build your brand. Yeah, yeah you know? I mean, that's brand. what it is. It is it, yeah. you're building a brand, which yeah. is something that I think a lot of people in like YouTube, like the YouTube, I guess, space, mm -hmm. um, like there's people who real don't even realize that they're building their own brand with just the, you know, doing the yeah. things that they're doing. Mm -hmm. And then there's people who realize that they're doing it and then they use that to their advantage. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So I think that that's like, that's and really then cool. and that's what it is now because everybody has social media. So you are your own brand. You yeah. Know, you're all your, you're, you're your own media company now and you have to embrace it. Otherwise uh -huh. you're just going to fall. Mm -hmm. Fall by the wayside. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 Boom. I got it. I got it. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Roll credits. <That's> <laughs> <laughs> We're done here. <laughs> um, all right. So this again. This is where you guys are at right now. Where do you guys want to be? Where like where do you guys want to get to? Or is this like kind of what you guys want to do? Is this where you guys want to be? Like for you, is this like your or long term goal? Just like an goal? amplified version. Of yeah, the, obviously. Right, right, yeah, right. you always want it to get bigger, but is yeah. this what you want to do, or do you want to break out into something else? Like you talk about like writing, uh, or filmmaking. Sorry, um, and you guys are doing like a lot of Fallout stuff. Like, is there anything down the pipeline for you that might be like your own personal new IP type thing later down the line? Is that like? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I've been exploring uh, a lot of different video game IP right now and, and working with those developers and even stuff I can't talk about right now, unfortunately, but that's, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's definitely the trajectory. I think I found out that through um, directing these Fallout episodes and doing it for so long and, and being um, you know wearing multiple hats as we do, um, that I really like show Sometimes running. at the same time. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, many times at the same time. Um, but yeah, I like I like show running. Um, I do like that. I like being involved in the in the creative process and um, you know uh, working working with a lot of different people. Um, so I think um, we've got an awesome opportunity right now in the digital space to create a lot of good content. You know, people people are always looking for good good content. I don't think yeah. we get enough of it. So I really I really enjoy that, and I think that's probably my trajectory is is to keep show running. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. How about yourself? Um, well, I would love for cupcakes to explode. Um, <laughs> and then other than that, I just, I want to continue just obviously being in front of the camera, but, um, directing, producing, um, and editing. I want to just 
content produce, have the entire baby, put it out there, and just continue getting better. I mean, I'm Italian, so I mean, I, I'm, I'm loud. I flare my hands a lot. Clearly, I've hit the mic like four times. <laughs> um, wait, 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 wait. Can you do this for me? <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's it. Roll credits. <laughs> yeah. I was actually on the phone with my family from Italy right before coming in here. Um, but yeah, it's um, so what I'm trying to say is that the both of us, me and Ariel, we try to bring our personalities, whatever, you know, wherever we come from, our cultures, our differences, and we take them. And um, I think the both of us, yeah, we just want to um, we want to get seen. We want to continue on. We'd love to work with other people um, and then just continue doing what we do best just loving the process yeah yeah mm -hmm. I, was so I was telling her beforehand is because i'm obsessed with youtube business because mm -hmm. like i do everything behind the scenes and i was telling her like seven years ago when i started like nobody knew what it was nobody knew what to do you just posted yeah. videos and then it's so yeah, the, yeah the, like, the magic would happen. And then so, like so yeah, little like, elves yeah. would make things it's happen. It's like, oh my god, it, the video did amazing. And it's like I quit. Like, you're like, yeah. oh, you're um but uh because you you guys are just starting out, mm -hmm. but they're they already have like top tier quality content, which right. is crazy because <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Cause, cause most people just start off with like a fucking webcam and just <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's true. You know, like, like <laughs> for example, like Philip DeFranco, this guy. Like I, I like I genuinely like watching him. Not as much anymore. There was like a period in the middle, like in between when he first started and now, that there's like this like real kind of like I don't give a fuck attitude yeah. about what he was doing. And but then like going really far back and seeing his like first videos and it's this guy like who like has a cat walk around his videos yeah, every yeah. once in a while and he's just like. So, hey, world, I've got some news for you today. Yeah. And then now this guy's like, he's like, he's like news. Like yeah. now he's like Fox, you know, yeah, but like for is. the Internet, exactly. he is. Um, which is amazing. It's, it's so crazy how like that can happen. But yeah. it, it, it makes me wonder what the future is going to be, because now everybody knows the formula. But so now it is really about just are you original? Uh, are you, is your personality good? Do people like you? Because before... You could get away with a lot of kind of just meta game stuff, like putting a bunch of tags in your description to get you to the front of the YouTube page, having clickbait thumbnails. I mean, people still do clickbait titles and all that, but the point is, like, uh, in the beginning, a lot of it was just about the little meta stuff. Now, because everybody knows that, it's just more about can you stand out? I love that part about it because now it's just really are you good? There's no more excuses. Are you good or not? But at the same time, it, it makes it harder to stand out too because there's so many people. It's like any. It's it's really like uh, most industries in general now. Like it's not just the YouTube industry; it's the music industry. Mm -hmm. Like, again, like I play music. Like I've been in multiple bands, and then just trying to put your stuff out into the world. Like when I first had like my very first album put on iTunes, I was like, "Oh my god! Like it's on iTunes!" You know, I was like yeah. so excited about yeah. it. And funny enough, I was I listened to like a song, or actually I listened to I think the whole album on the way here, uh, what like that I haven't heard in the longest time, and it was just on iTunes, and I was like super stoked about it. But I was like, this never went anywhere, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But it's out there, and like you know, <laughs> ten years ago yeah. or something, <laughs> ten years ago that was like if your song was like on iTunes or something, it was yeah. like it meant it was a big deal, and now anybody can get on iTunes. And the same thing with like the film industry, everybody's making films now, whether they're like good quality or not they're being put out there and and that like you know it uh floods the industry and so it, it only the good is like what rises to the top the cream of the crop yeah as it were that's just gonna make us better overall. yeah yeah so, it does but i like we had the discussion last week with or uh with, with trent. trent because he he's directed like well, I don't know, like fifty films or something. He's been in a hundred films as an actor. Well, he's directed what two films? He's yeah. been a writer for like over fifty. Films yeah, or yeah, I don't know, but yeah, but that. Well, but yeah, because he he started a long time ago, and he he said in two thousand four that he loved the digital age back then because he was like more people can make films and mm -hmm. it's just gonna the more the better. And then I was asking him what he thought about it now because now it's way different than then. And he was like, no, it, this is the way it should be. It's even better this way. But yeah, my concern is always just will good people be lost in the, yeah. in the shuffle? I mean, yeah, I, to I totally agree. Like everybody thinks that they're, you know, to some extent. Yeah, I good. guess they're. Then yeah. maybe, yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe they everybody who's good, who's worthy, will get there. I I mean, true, but uh, I don't know. Like I feel like 
that that's also another thing. Like there's a I think that there are people that get lost simply because the battle like uphill is so it's like it's yeah. it's a journey to get to where you want to be. You know what I mean? Like it's not easy. I'm sure you like both know that you guys both came from Florida, <laughs> like like me. We're all yeah. Floridians yeah. here, um, and you live you live there too. Yeah. Shut up, you live there. I um, I got my ass out as fast as possible. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, you guys came from Florida to come to LA to work in this industry and such. Mm-hmm. So you know, like what it takes to get to any sort of credibility. Um, and how difficult it is. And I feel like a lot of people get to a point where they feel like they're they're just not clicking or they're something's yeah. not happening. And then they turn around and then they, you know, they, 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 go back, <laughs> they, they go back to Florida. <laughs> First bus back to Florida. <laughs> um, so I think that there is a possibility of, of, you know, greatness being lost. Um, that doesn't mean that greatness won't rise above yeah. occasionally. But there's just some people who maybe don't have the drive or maybe the means to push their great content out to the masses the way that other people do. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can put something on YouTube for sure, but unless you know how to promote it or unless you have somebody else who gives you a chance to promote it or something, it, it could just be on YouTube for yeah. forever and you with only a hundred views, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So how do you guys, have you guys had any, how do you guys like emotionally feel when you put so much work into it? And you get, you know, <laughs> you get 50 views, 100. I mean, and even you guys, you guys do big productions, but sometimes you might get 200,000 views where in your heart, you're like, this is, this is a it's five million. million. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It should be five million. Exactly. Uh, that's an interesting point. Uh, it's yeah. something I do think about because, you know, of course, there's a part of you that says, well, you feel like you, you're satisfied, right? Because internally you made something that you feel good about. Your crew feels good about it. But then there is a there is a point to filmmaking. It's storytelling, right? You're supposed to share it with an audience, and if you don't have the you know the views, the audience. But then again, yeah. I mean, maybe maybe two people saw it and they and they helped somebody, or, you know, it resonated with them, and they got you know the message or something. So there's some good there. But yeah, it's it's interesting. And being in, with YouTube culture, we're always dr- we're always looking for views, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's that's kind of part of the game, I guess. Um, uh, but yeah, it's it's interesting to think about, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Definitely. You? I feel like yeah. um I mean there's been many times where I'm like, okay, within the first hour I should hit a hundred and I'm like yeah. forty six. <laughs> 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 and I'm like, yeah. all right, well I I just don't take it personally. It's uh, kinda like one of those things where you don't read your bad comments, you're just like, you know, put that aside. Um, no, they fuel me. They're hate. Yeah. <laughs> Haters. I hope know. you're listening to this audience. <laughs> yeah. For those of you who love hating me, I love it. Just keep keep doing it. Oh, how they <laughs> how they hate Kevin. How they hate me. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Good. <laughs> the Little side, watch the latest Gaming Sins if you want to hear the best Gollum impersonation <laughs> ever by Kevin. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be that good because I did it in the Can you the bust it all just, or you, do you have to get into like... <sighs> I, I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> now I feel like I'm on the spot, and I yeah. oh, um, spotlight, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Um, <clears throat> so, so just talk to me. Just say so I can kind of. Um, uh, how are you? Oh, oh, I'm I'm You filthy hobbits! There you go. You know it's real now. <laughs> Dude, they it's love really it. You. <laughs> oh, every. See, it's one of those days he's gotten bad comments, but then like everyone on this one was like, "Oh my god, you were like, that, was, that was so good." I think like, I think in the voiceover it sounded better than I probably did right uh, now. No, but. no, it was what the hell? It was good. <laughs> did that, did the bad comments inspire you to work on the voice? Too? No, no, no. I, this is this was like one time thing. So the video was it, we were doing a uh, uh, Shadow, Shadow of Mordor, Mordor, the video game. We're just talking about it, but basically giving the audience a rundown on the story of the game. Um, and then at the very end, I decided to just end the tag with like the, oh, like, share, and subscribe portion of it with the Gollum voice. I was like, I'm just going to do it just to see what happens, you know? Um, and I had been told, like, when I had first, like, watched the films, I tried imitating the voice and stuff. And I was told by some people that it was decent. So I was like, oh, let me try it. Um, and I did it in the middle of the, the voiceover, like, in the middle. And he edited it. He, like, mm-hmm. took that part out. And then he added the part at the end. So mm. I thought, like, when I first heard it, I was like, oh, maybe it wasn't that good. That's why he cut out the la- the, the beginning part. Yeah. But then he put it at the end, and then, like, I, I guess it, like, people thought it was really good. I was like, sweet. Yeah. Um, but no, it wasn't, like, we don't, I don't do, like, the Gollum voice all the time. It's yeah. not, like, a thing. Yeah. It just, it, 
It shall people, be. It people, shall be, though. Yeah, yes. <laughs> we should start a whole channel just, like, I Gollum mean, commenting on things. Do you want to be in Awkward Cupcake Skate? Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah. man. It's I'm totally fine. That was, that was my dream when I was a young boy to, <laughs> to do acting. And, um, I mean, I didn't think I would be Smeagol ever in my life. Yeah. But sure, why not? I'll do it. Your destiny has been <laughs> It has been changed. Yeah, it's been changed. Watch <laughs> out, Andy Circus. I'm gunning for you, buddy. Yeah, but the whole thing with the comments, too, like, that's the hard part, too, about being your own brand because, I mean, I get, I don't know, we probably get about 10,000 comments a day. And there's no, there's, you would have to have a full time staff to read every single one. Yeah. And no matter, I don't care what anyone says, people say this like, oh, I don't care. Shut the fuck up. You do <laughs> care. I mean, not, you might not care to the point where you're going to allow it to change what you do or who you are, but every single one makes a tiny dent. Because you just want to explain to them why you did this or why this is there or whatnot. And a lot of times people are just trolling you, but it, I don't know. I don't know if, if you guys just ignore them completely. If you engage with them, do you read them? Like I don't like. Is what's there your, banter yeah. between <laughs> you and the audience, or do you kind of keep it? Um, I think we uh, our method is we embrace the good ones. Mm -hmm. But if someone, even if it's completely negative and they just hate it, that's fine. Right, I guess we call that constructive criticism. Yeah. If it's something that we can change, then we then we probably will, you know. Mm -hmm. And if we're hearing enough of that kind of feedback, then yeah, well, we we've, we've made adjustments before. I'm trying mm -hmm. to think, um, you know, maybe maybe it was like a like a minor modification to a costume or something that we could change in a later episode, or, right, or this yeah. wasn't exactly correct to the Fallout lore, or you know, something along those lines. If we could make an adjustment, then yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. we do that. So they could be helpful, you know. I saw yeah. this one comment they made on the first episode where they were like, I love this. The only thing I don't like is that everything's too clean. And then and then you could tell in the other ones they they kinda dirtied it up a little bit. <laughs> like, exactly. <laughs> That's actually that was a joke uh, amongst all of us because they're always saying that, oh, they look too clean, and we were piling on the dirt yeah. in the desert, and we're also getting blasted oh, constantly. I remember that. We were yeah. like literally rolling around. I was helping. Like, Here, guys, I help. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. I throw it. literally. Yeah. I wish we had behind the scenes footage. We're throwing dirt on people, right, to try to make it authentic. And then the first couple comments, like, too clean, too, too clean. <laughs> you guys should do it. that for Dude. like then your next piece. Like, have somebody with just like a DV cam. Nothing. No, I, they I don't do. Know they have guys. a lot of behind the scenes oh. stuff. I just think they didn't have it. Probably exactly. that probably I guess I guess it's kind of like um like rain on film, you know, it, just because it's raining doesn't mean it'll show that well on yeah. film. Yeah. Even if it's yeah. pouring, so you, you know they'll add milk or some yeah. other substance to it. Right. So that's yeah. where we just have to like compensate even more and put yeah. in even more dirt. Yeah. Which, uh, was, yeah. That was fun, right? Yeah. I was like, ooh, I'm doing makeup. <laughs> 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 How do you deal with the with hate the comments? comments? The, hate, the haters. Uh, honestly, if it's constructive, if it's something like, hey, you know, that was great, but honestly. Take it, go yeah. for it. But if it's something just to be hurtful, delete. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you delete it. Delete. Don't delete. delete. Never delete. Or, or we have like the filter and everything, so right. it's not anything, you know. See that, and that's part of the YouTube meta game, which is don't delete because every interaction counts as a point to get you higher on search mm -hmm. boxes. So don't delete. Oh yeah, yeah. You know. Well, I guess I guess I should say that we do have that filter, so yeah. we don't really get the bad ones, mm -hmm. but. I'm just thinking if I were to see like the absolute worst. Yeah. Meme, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Meme, if you're yeah. talking like, about like the darkest, like, sludgy, yeah. Yeah. black yeah. stuff. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, then yeah, that, yeah. I yeah. It. yeah. <laughs> I've gotten to a point where I like I banter because uh, uh, gaming sins. There's um, a few of us working on the on it. It's myself and Mike, and then we have uh, Axel uh, who does voicing as well as I do, um, and so. And Axel lives in, I don't know, Texas? Texas. Yeah. Um, so Axel does his thing, and then, you know, we do our thing. And he started the, the project on his own. So he, everybody knows Axel. And when I jumped in to kind of help to put more, you know, products or, or more production. More content. Not content. That's the one. <laughs> more content. Products. <laughs> uh, more content out. Um, people, they were, you know, there's people don't like change. They're like, who's this guy? This American guy. <laughs> oh, Axel. Though he lives in Texas, he's, he's, uh, he's. British, British. I, I hey mate, yeah, yeah. Or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. Bloke. I yeah. think he, I think he's from Liverpool, from just judging by his accent, but I'm not yeah. entirely certain. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he, yeah, he's British, um, and so they're so used to him. Mm -hmm. And then, like, I've had to find ways to try and like get the audience on my side by like 
um, sometimes somebody says something like super like negative and just like really fucked up to me, yeah. <laughs> and I'll be like, okay, here we go. <laughs> and like I'll go and I'll like comment back and then I'll just add like a you know like a little hyphen and then Kevin so that they know it's from me and not from yeah. anybody else and then I'll like talk trash back to them and then like other people are like oh you just got schooled or something you know um, to the point where I did when uh, Injustice came out and we did like a sin video on the Injustice game um, I did it just for time, uh, like, you know, to get the, the content out on time. Axel couldn't do it that at uh, that time. So I did it, and that was my first go at it. Mm -hmm. And there's, like, some audio quality issues and stuff, which, like, I'll admit to. Um, but the content was the same. It was nothing different than what Axel did. Same writing. Same, same writing. There, yeah, yeah, everything. Um, and then somebody was, like, um, they're, like, actually, you got this wrong. Like, that's not true, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> And I was like, all right, hold on. Like, one, there's like two things wrong here. One, I'm like a huge DC fan, so not only have I played the video games, but I've like read all the comic <laughs> books that come before it. So I literally went out and I got like all of the like comic book information. And like on the following video, I did like a redemption round where I like basically all the people who like wrote hate Fucking comments called all like, of them called out all of them out on the video and the video. And then people yeah. started liking me after that. And so not I, like, only that, the person he called out was pumped up he was like oh my god i'm in the video thank you like you schooled oh, yeah. me like oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's the way to do so, it so so yeah like and i still do things like that every once in a while we'll do like a mean comments video where i just read mean comments and i like that's occasionally fine. have like yeah. a little banter back um or i just read it just for the sake of reading it because it's kind of funny sometimes to just hear these people like just like all this hate that they have pent up yeah. that they just release onto the internet and they like f like put it to me be the bigger like, man and absorb it yeah, yeah i just exactly. i take it like i said it, yeah. it, it it fuels me it makes it and it gives us content you guys give uh, us more mean comments and we make more videos but then again, the, the one thing i would say to that though is that Gaming Sense has the benefit of being a kind of cynical channel. That's anyway, true. That's true. It's like if Kimmy was there, it's just like, you know what? Fuck you, man. Like, people, <laughs> would, people would be like, God, like, what's like wrong with her? Yeah. yeah. They're like, <laughs> like trying to be all pods. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like in the middle of a video, like, I just yeah. want to promote wellness. What the yeah. fuck is that? Yeah. I mean, um, and then it depends on your personality with criticism, too. Because yeah, yeah. I know me, like, I get... In initially I get defensive. I don't know if most people are that way, but I get defensive. But if somebody gives me a good suggestion, like maybe the next day I'll be like, yeah, okay. Like yeah, that's yeah. It, yeah. exactly. You know. But yeah, suggestions versus you know <laughs> yeah. putting it down. All right, yeah. so we got we got a treat for you guys. Treat. It's the namesake mm -hmm. of the show, you against the ghost. Nope. So what's going to happen is we're going to play a video game. I'm actually not sure what video game we're playing, so when we get to our next game set. Game Beast. Game Beast. There we go. Gang. Oh, Beast. Gang Beast. Yeah. Gang Beast. I've never played it. I don't think any of us have played it. No. I've never heard of it. I've never no. heard of it either, so this is going to be interesting. But what's going to happen is, uh, are we Is it? Are we doing all of us, or are we just doing two one-on-one? -on -one? Is that uh, what we're doing? Pick your champion? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, so maybe. we'll let you guys pick your champion, whoever it is that's going to go yeah. up against the ghost. Godspeed. Is it like Spyro? <laughs> <laughs> Um, and uh, you cool if I'm the ghost today? Go ahead. Yeah, I got my ghost shirt on. Oh, the nice. ghost. So can they both answer the questions? Are they a team? Ooh. That's difficult. Um, team. you know, I didn't think about that. Yeah. What if we have, depending on how matches go, we'll do one half and then one half. Okay. <laughs> because the idea or of it. Or they could just switch off answering. Just do that. Okay, th yeah. all right, fair enough. The idea, that? though, is that they're supposed to be, like, not thinking about just the thing. They have to be playing the game. That's, That's true. So. Like just pick your, line. just, okay, pick a your There we go, lifeline. There, there we go, you can yeah. be a lifeline. You get, exactly. you get yeah. three lifelines. We'll do that. Use three lifelines. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> three lifelines. All right, so we're going to move over to our, another, our, our, our other <laughs> I like that. I like that. Good. Lifeline, yeah. Um, um, they're general, over. like, pop culture stuff, games, movies, TV shows. So just randomness. <laughs> All right. So this is like the first like team effort, which we're I'm excited to see how this plays out. So we're gonna move over to our next set and uh, and then we'll we'll see if you guys can beat the ghost. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Sweet. Thanks, guys. <laughs> All right. Now it is time for you against the ghost. <laughs> As I point. Yes. Um, all right. So today's game, Gang Beasts. Uh, where we're basically just gonna fight to get each other <laughs> off of some very tall it's gonna buildings. Be great. And uh, you're gonna be answering some questions. Just so you know, the questions can be 
like I said before, they can they just pop culture stuff, so they can be video Random. games. Uh, sports. Film. Oh, sports. Oh, great. sports. So, yeah, my, okay. <laughs> so, and you get three lifelines. So this is the first time that we've ever had to do this with two people. So yeah. we've got, you've got three lifelines. If you don't know it, yeah. you can go ahead and answer to him. Perfect. If you skip yeah. it, you lose the point. Okay. All right? Okay. If none of you can answer it, obviously. So yeah, like ask the, ask the audience. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ask the audience. <laughs> so <laughs> hope that like comments just appear out of the yeah, nowhere. Like, <laughs> the All right, so let's go. Let's go ahead right. and get this <clears throat> going. Kevin has never won, by the way. I haven't, so, actually. That's true. This is, this is the Jeez. golden opportunity here. Well, I've only ever done one game, which was... Uh, oh, the Arizona The Sunshine? Arizona Sunshine. Yeah, the so I've only lost game. once. Yeah, I've only lost game. once. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's do Incinerator. That sounds Incinerator, cool. Incinerator, all right. And let's do, let's, I don't know how many lives it might take. Let's do, I think five, do five, five. Five lives? Five sounds That's good. All right, yeah. all right, let's start. Let's <laughs> I like how I said random, costumes. like random what? It just, like, what? <laughs> just random. Yeah, just like, well, okay, for what? What's the yeah. setting? Oh, all and right, you so go. we're gonna pick our costume and now. And, oh, there we go. Yeah! We're gonna go with, oh, kitty. Go with Rick. <laughs> Very floppy. I love this little Rick. It's, it's the cute. best thing right, to happen to this game. I wonder if that's like part of the game or if somebody made that. It's a super I think somebody made Probably it. custom made yeah. it. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, so we gotta drop oh, each other into the incinerator. You, you come here. One. Oh. Alrighty, so I think you might need a lifeline for this. <laughs> <laughs> Very sorry. Okay, the first Fallout game was released in what year? <laughs> Let's, let's take a guess if you want to save your lifelines. Are we talking about, uh, um... I, wait, can I tell her if I know the answer? Yeah, go I mean, do you, do you want to use a lifeline here? Ah! What about the teamwork here? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could take a shot oh, can, we, can, we, can we discuss it over? Ah! No, 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 no. that's unfair. Ah, ah, no! <laughs> we need an answer, Kimmy. Um... Tag me in? Yeah, tagging you in. Uh, okay, so it's... it's Get up! Uh, I'm between two years, of course. But I want to say... Oh, no! No! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> oh, my Redman. God. I would say uh, 1997. That is correct. I was yes, literally going to say 1995. <laughs> so yeah, yeah I, well, I have, it was between 97 and 98, but right, okay. Cool. Okay, question number two. This dystopian classic came out in 1979 and stars Mel Gibson as an officer for the main force patrol. <laughs> oh, did we just knock each other out? Um, well, shit. Oh, oh. Get down. Oh, that's yeah. brutal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Yeah. Um, Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson. I'm not a Mel Gibson fan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wow. Am I going to lose this game? Like, let's see. Um, can I take another lifeline? Do you want to? Do you want to? Do you want to use your lifeline already? Second. I mean, or can I skip it and I'll just lose the point? Uh, yeah. That is. Let's do that. Okay. The answer. Do you know the answer? Just want to throw it out there. I don't. Yeah, okay, it's okay. Mad Max. Oh, that's, oh, oh. oh, that's right. Okay, number three. Oh, Come on, Kitty, get out of No! Oh, yes, you just committed suicide. Number three, Emma Stone made her film debut in which 2007 comedy? Um, oh my gosh, the party one. Um, oh my God, I'm gonna kick myself. Hang on. Um, super, super bad. That is correct. Yes. Okay, number four, spell Jake Gyllenhaal's last name. <laughs> Dang! Right. Um, G Y. Okay. Um, L L. Okay. E N. Uh huh. H A. Uh huh. L L. That is incorrect. It's two A's, one L. Even <laughs> I personally, when I saw the name, I just I was like, perfect, good. Nobody could do this. Did you make these questions? Yeah. Well, you know, just like random. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, number five. What team has won the most NBA titles ever? Wake up! Oh my god! We get, uh, get, get, up, get, get, up, get up! 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 No! <laughs> what team has won the most NBA titles ever? You have an answer? <laughs> I'm so sorry, I see <laughs> I just like. Oh, we, we need to put a timer. You know, we're gonna need yeah. a timer oh and just like. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the draw. Oh. Dude, okay, I'm so sorry. Please ask me again. Yeah, I got what so team, involved. What team has won the most NBA titles ever? All right, you're my lifeline for this one. Oof. <laughs> He's like, oh Oof. man. I mean, he... I don't really follow the NBA, so I'm gonna have to. 
take a guess. Okay. Um, I mean, oh. I, ah! I'll just go with the shitty answer and say the Lakers. That is incorrect. It is the Boston Celtics. Oh. Okay, number six. Which Whitney Houston movie has the highest selling soundtrack of all time? Oh, I know this one. Right? I do know no! this one. No! I do know this Audience, one. Audience, okay, do, so <laughs> do we know? Do we know? Go for it. Here we go. The go Bodyguard. The Bodyguard. Yeah. That is correct. All right, what know. 90s TV show starred Ed O'Neill, Katie Seagal, and Christina Applegate? Oh, God. Um, this is UK. It is me. <laughs> but I can't well, think. Was, come on. I don't well, know how to throw good. you exactly. Timer, timer, timer. Yeah. We are oh, legitimately yeah. bringing a timer no. this time. Get off me. <laughs> Get off <laughs> me. <laughs> You're going down with me, bitch. <laughs> Um, do you have an answer? No, I do not have an answer. Okay. Do you know the answer? Uh, I'm sorry. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> what? That, well, I'll just say, is Mary the Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not. I don't think you'll know this one. Another game. A lot of game stuff here. What PlayStation exclusive stars the Spartan named Kratos? Ah! Uh, guys. Uh, no. <laughs> do you know it? <laughs> I don't know that one. Okay. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very negative points. God of War. God of War, cool. In the Grand Theft Auto universe, Liberty City is the fictional equivalent of what real world city? New York City. That is correct. Oh, you nice. used your logic there. I Good. Did. I like it. In the comics, which one of these was not an original Avenger? Iron Man, Thor, Captain America, or the Hulk? Can you please repeat that question? Because I know I know this answer. In in the comics. Which one of these was not an original Avenger? Iron Man, Thor, Captain America, or the Hulk? Oh, shit. Dun, 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 dun. God, A lot of draws guess. here, yeah? Um, yeah this is, this, this is I difficult. guess I'll just have to... Yeah, this is hard. This is hard to think and do this at the same time. <laughs> is, oh, my God! Oh, um, oh, shoot. Oh, oh nice comeback. Um, oh. Hulk? The Hulk is incorrect. It's actually, Captain America. Wow! Don't hate me, everyone. Yes. <laughs> I don't think a lot of I think a lot of people would guess Captain America is an original event. Yeah, they would, but he's not. I think I think everybody yeah. would. So that's why it's a tough question, though. Okay. <laughs> what is the highest-grossing 2D animated movie ever? Uh, hey, Vince, do you know this one? I could take a guess. I think this is your last lifeline. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I you know what? Like, just just play as a team because they're already like, <laughs> they're like <laughs> <laughs> already like the last place. All right, yeah. <laughs> Do you know it, Vince? Take a guess. Uh, take a yeah, guess. let's take a guess. Um, can I run? I can run. Hold. Two D animated. <laughs> yeah. I want to say the Lion King. That is correct, The Lion okay. King. Oh, nice! Almost oh made a billion dollars. No! Yeah! Ah. Oh, I win. Okay. In the Transformers, what is the name of the leader of the Decepticons? Um, Optimus Prime. Oh, God! The That's internet right. just lit up on fire. <laughs> What's the answer, Kevin? That answer? is that is Megatron. That oh. is correct. <laughs> okay, hello. I'm not paying attention. Okay, name the four Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Michael, Michelangelo. Leonardo, Donatello. Yeah. And Raphael. That is correct. Oh, Good job. Okay. Thank God for that one. What 1989? What 1989 Steven Spielberg classic starred Harrison Ford and Sean Connery? <laughs> Uh, Last Crusade. That is correct. This uh, Tom Hanks der <laughs> uh, directorial, I can't even pronounce that. Directorial debut? Directorial debut was for, was for this 1999 film Come about a band. No! Oh, no! Get in there! Oh, oh my god, why? Sorry. Oh, wait, could you repeat it? Uh, Tom Hanks no. directed this film, 1999, about a band with a one hit wonder. That thing you do. That is correct! Yeah. Okay, let's see how this turns out. <laughs> ah. This gave me anxiety. Is, yeah, I know. <laughs> it's hard because there's like no way to throw. I know, know? Yeah. yeah. You gotta have to like. Oh, hello, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> ah, come here, little cat. We probably should have done three right here. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, kitty. <laughs> come on, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> she's, just, she's just maneuvering. 
I <laughs> know, she's so dragging me around like a little bitch. Like, she's just grabbing you like this. We keep, we keep like, going in together, you know? It's, well, it's because like I hang on, you know? Like, I try how do you to, like, let go? Her. Like, how do you... Oh, I don't know. I think you just have to like grab them. Okay, well, like, I, I grab you like this. <laughs> <laughs> is this how you do it? Is this, this, is how I, this is how you do it. Get off of me! Leave me alone! Oh, no! Yes! Ah, oh, come here. Get them cat. No! Oh, yes! Oh. All right, all right, 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 right. Hang on, let's see. What's the score? We're tied. Tied? Oh, oh man. What, what's the, the lives? We have it's five. 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 Yeah. Oh, shit. Should have done just four. <laughs> right. Just three would have been right. good. Yeah. I thought it was just going to be like quick. The first two were like just quick. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Come on, no, no, kitty. No, 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 no. Come on. Get away. Go. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> no! <laughs> See, oh. that shouldn't count as a draw. It should be, she went down first. So. Uh-uh, right. he went down first. Uh-uh. He got pushed. I know, right? No pressure, Kevin. Are you sweating? I am a little bit, I'm actually. sweating, too. I'm sweating. <laughs> what? Oh, it's for life. What? Wow! Oh, man. <laughs> Man, I believe in you, Kevin. I know. I believe in you. I got this. Oh, I got wait, wait, wait. We have another life? Another <laughs> yeah, no. It, it, that was uh, just four. Those four wins. Oh, because of draw, yeah. You need one more point to win. <laughs> I'm busting the glass now. Ooh. Ooh. Did we just knock each other Man, out? You mad, Kevin? I yeah. am. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> Oh, oh, my God. Hold me down. Oh, Coming with me. All right. This is the most tense moment, and you against the ghost history. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, down by one. I. Why did I do that? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> This would have been crazy if we oh, all man. four played too. That would have been. Let go! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> so rude. <laughs> Refuse. Can you have four players in this game? Yeah, you can. Oh, okay. Yeah. You want, you want to tag in? No, no. Oh no. no. You gotta, you you gotta finish kitty? this. <laughs> kitty. Wait. Oh. Damn cat. Oh. 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 <laughs> this is it. This is it. <laughs> For all the marbles. I'm so nervous. Game seven. <laughs> Bottom of the ninth. Ah, cat. Ooh, get up, cat. Oh. No. Oh. No. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. How are you? Why are we holding <laughs> Oh, uh, whoever made this game is a genius. <laughs> oh! 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 No! 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 Ah, she's got me. Oh crap! <laughs> no, no, no! Oh, you got <laughs> This whole game has just been me like, yeah. no! Holding on for a dear life. Oh man. Oh god. <sighs> she's just like walking up to you. And I know. She's like, just mad at me. She's like, get out of here! Shut up! Go to sleep. Man, bitch slapping you. Oh my god. Come here, kitty. Come on, cat. Ah! Uh, no, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> no! Yes, ah. yes, uh, we yes. Have, yes, 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 y
What's the opposite of undefeated? <laughs> like, <laughs> just undefeated. Just defeated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna do a freeze frame of me yeah. right here. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. Okay. <laughs> and you got your thumbnail. Uh, yeah. Good it's job. all right, that Kevin. Yeah, that that's was a right. good fight. Yeah, that was, I tried. You. Hey, I'm you know, I, I came back. I was like the Warriors like a few seasons ago. Yeah. I, I, just, I had the comeback, but I just I couldn't just I couldn't follow through. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I feel like I should take off this shirt now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not actually going to get any. <laughs> All right, so we're going to move back over, and we're going to close out the show. Congratulations Thank you. on your guys' win. Well and loss, well probably. I'm not sure how many uh, oh, questions you guys. Oh, they were horrible. <laughs> they were horrible at the trivia. So we'll take we'll take that as Actually, a win. Actually, Kimmy inspired our new like. We're gonna have to stop. Yeah, we're gonna have to stop watching next time. No, because like, like, it's like you get so into it, and then I, I didn't even. That's the you point, asked. Kimmy. That's, that's, the that's the point. point. That's the point. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go. We're going right. back. Going back. All right. against the ghost we want to thank our lovely guests for being here today thank you guys so much thank you you, you guys are a wealth of knowledge and whenever you guys are available please come on back we'll be Absolutely. more than happy to have you and if you know i know that you guys both have like other partners and such so yeah. if you guys want to bring them on as well yes. and do like another team piece later down the line we're more than happy to have you guys thank you guys for being here you guys have any tags or anything you guys want to promote here now social Let's media new promotion oh um Follow Awkward Cupcakes. Uh, you can find us on YouTube. Um, you can find us on Instagram, The Awkward Cupcakes. Um, I'm Kimmy. My partner's name is Ariel. And yes, we should bring her back here next time. Definitely. It'd definitely. Be sufficiently awkward and great. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> How about you? You got anything you want to yeah, shoot out there? Sure. We actually, um, uh, uh, what was it? Oh, we have a brand new VR show, which we didn't, even, we didn't really talk too much about uh, today, but it's going to be on Wayside Digital's channel. Okay. Yeah. All that information is going to be below in the description, as well as our stuff, Gaming Sins, below where you can find us, Facebook, all that stuff. Patreon as well. We have a Patreon now. Go check all of the little cool things that we've got there for you. You're going to love it. And if you don't love it, then th don't love it. I don't know. That's yeah. fine. We also got Gamers Little Playground, all their stuff below if you're not watching it on Gamers Little Playground. Um, they are. But Yeah, <laughs> but they probably are. They probably are. <laughs> On the <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being here. And we will see you guys soon. Okay, bye. <laughs>